I went to look for a house for somebody and it happened that it was a Nigerian, a Nigerian that owns this house, this particular house I'm talking about. Do you know what happened? This man opened his mouth and said that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. A Nigerian who had just built a house. This story, I hope the story is clear. A Nigerian man in Ghana refused to rent a house for your own fellow Nigerian brother in Ghana. Why? What happened? Why did he not rent? Hmm? I thought that Nigerians love their self. I normally hear that ah, Nigerians they love their self now. Why a Nigerian man built us in Ghana and you refused to rent a house for your own fellow Nigerian brother in Ghana? What happened? Huh? What really happened? <laughs> Although you will definitely see it in the in the video. Watch this video, okay? I beg you. Every time Nigerian people want to do something, Ghanaians think they do it first. Which type of nonsense be this? My friend, whatever you guys have, we did first. Eh? Let me just say that. Ghanaians love this. They love to, to, to tire Nigerian people with this nonsense that they are better at everything. Our indom is better. Okay? Our jollof is better. Our stews are better. You go finish cry. Nigeria is better. I beg. CB, you won't follow Nigeria, the drag guardians, okay? You know what, you know? CB, you, you, you be fake with you. They will still kidnap you in Nigeria. If they don't kidnap you, they go use you, they go use you to money, Rishwa. You wait and see. I mean, they that thing say you they support Nigeria. Although, not be what we are coming to talk today. Today, we are coming to talk about Nigerian man refuse to rent house to your own fellow Nigerian living in Ghana. But because I want to know the reason why Nigerian man where he built out for Ghana refused to rent a home for your own fellow Nigerian. That is what we are coming to do today. Now listening to the person who <laughs> went there and verify what really happened. I'm coming in. Oh my people I hit it again because this is all I see and I when I see them I have to tell my people please we are here crying that when you are looking for a house for an apartment in ghana landlords landladies will be telling you that they don't need nigerians and we begin to wonder what the problem is all about and when you are wondering in that form it simply means that you have seen yourself as a genuine and a good person and somebody else somewhere is is, is, is putting your uh, uh, rubbing your your name on the mall. So what I'm trying to say now is we have a whole lot of people doing that and the one that baffles me this morning is that I went to look for a house for somebody and it happened that it was a Nigerian a Nigerian that owns this house this particular house I'm talking about do you know what happened this man opened his mouth and said that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. A Nigerian who had just built a house said he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. My question is, when the agent, one of the agents, a Ghanaian, heard this, he, 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 he asked me, Mr. David, please, can you, did you hear what that man said? I said, yes. I, what do you think about it? I said, I'm confused. Because this is a Nigerian saying that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. So, what are you teaching the Ghanaians if you say as a Nigerian that you don't need a Nigerian in your house? And when I came to complain, another Nigerian who I know too well also told me that he, he went to look for a house. And a, a man, a Nigerian also said that he didn't need a Nigerian in his house that he was confused. I thought it was only me that I just heard about it. I just heard about this thing just the first time. I didn't know that it has been lingering for so long. Please, Nigerians, what do you want? What exactly, what are you calling yourself? Because you are just embarrassing yourself. What are you calling yourself? Because where I've lived in three, four places, and all the landlords, as I'm a Nigerian, of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. I've lived in four, three places, and everywhere I have lived, the landlords and the landladies are still my friends, even, 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 even as I have packed out of their houses. 
they still loved me because they knew they know that when I was living with them, I, I did not constitute any nuisance. They see me as a good person. Even somebody, one of them was saying that because of me, he has, he has fallen in love with Nigerians. So why must a Nigerian be using such words on Nigerians? This is very bad. I have to say it so that you will learn from it. You will know what is happening. Thank you so much, my people. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Yes. If you want to, let me tell you, eh, like me, you know me, I know they, I know they pamper something. I know they support wrong thing. I know they support stupid thing. Let me tell you, if you are in Lalon, especially you are in Nigerian Lalon, you are in Ghana, to avoid trouble, to avoid problem, don't rent your house to a Nigerian person. Let me they talk about. If you want to have rest of mind, you are in Nigeria, you, you mistakenly build the house of Ghana, you have the opportunity and you build the house of Ghana. For you to have rest of mind, don't rent your house for Nigerians. Yes, although they will come for me, yes. I'm not the one who's here, the man. A Nigeria person built house. You refused to rent the house for a your own friend of Nigeria. Why? Renting a house for them. It's like you are you are inviting a criminal to your house. It's like you are inviting police to your home. It's like you are inviting the arrogant light to your home. You are inviting a, you, it's like you are inviting scammer to your home. You, it's like you are inviting money ritual to your home. You are inviting a lot of things to your home. Although you are inviting a lot of ungrateful thing to your home. That is it. That is the definitions. I need to tell you, it's just like now where a Nigerian person need the help. Uh, me, I don't, they don't do that thing to me well, well. No be one, no be two, no be three. Many. That's what I'm telling you. This is where my experience comes from. When they need the help from you, they will bring their self down. They, they, will be, they will hail you. They will put you in different, they will call you dogu. They will call you many names. But immediately they get that help from you. If they get the opportunity to kill you, say they will kill you. That is how they are. That is what I have received from them a lot, both physical and everywhere. So, like, this is the experience I have received from Nigeria. <laughs> Although I don't want to talk much, you know, I'm not the one talk. Especially in abroad, this is the experience I have received from Nigeria. Like, nobody teach me. Now, waiting, I have received. You understand? I help a Nigerian who pull me from top to down. Even that time, I know even, I know I have not even started media by then. I understand. So there's nothing you could tell me more about Nigeria. I hope you understand. And small time you say, oh, not be all Nigerian. But for me, for me alone, I can tell you how many Nigerians I've helped who are being ungrateful. Even the one I wanted to give credit, said that one already rather called this great military. He come, Try to disgrace me again later on. So who are you? Who, the, the smart and say, oh, this thing is not all Nigerians. That is this topic Nigerians always use. Uh, and they are a good mom. They are good egg. Now lie. We are all the same. We all we are the same. That word people are using. Uh, we are not the all Nigeria. Uh, why? It's not all Nigerian. Now lie. We are all the same. From zero to zero, now will be almost all of us. We are the same. This one they will say it's not all Nigerians. All of there's one Nigerian guy where I was praising. Say this guy, the day where that guy called show me pepper, I feel. Now that one me before even in Ghana, that one I was seeing that oh this guy is a good guy, and I was even giving him credit. But the day where that guy called bullying me, I come to look and say, hey. you see. And before they got us, you know we all Nigerian. I lie. Now all of us. <laughs> you are spoiling the image of Nigeria. Hey, you are this. Okay, why your brother don't want to rent house for you? Your brother is a landlord in Ghana. Why they don't want to rent house for you? If Nami come to us, see the real Ghanaian look at no rent now, they will come to us, see me at the great hate, at the greatest thing. Now, why your Nigeria brother in Ghana? He be loud. He be loud. But you know what rent house for you as a Nigerian. That means I think now only a criminal. Now they know about rent house. That means majority of you are criminal. That 
That's why even your fellow brother in Canada they be scared of you. I think so now. Then how do you me like this? I know encourage Ghanaian, so it's not like I'm here. Before if you're a Ghanaian, before you go rent the house for a single Nigeria, make sure say you have everything, living permit, resident permit, everything. Make sure say you have it. Because it may help now. Now that help will let up you and you. That's my one advice. Take them good migration. Make sure say they have every necessary document before you help. From where anything happens, it's easy for you to trace them. Simple account. I end my own. Those of you who won't hit me, bring your hit. I'll receive it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.